What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. All right. So, in a story uh, that could only be described as quintessentially Louisiana, uh, the Saints and the Superdome Commission uh, are at odds with one another, and it's with a Super Bowl uh, supposed to be coming up here in, uh, well, half a year, basically, yeah. at this point. Like, like seven, eight months, um, somewhere around there. Uh and okay, uh, what 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 exactly does LSED stand for again? Because maybe you can look it up, Landra. I forgot because I'm going to be referencing LSED a lot. But um, Louisiana Stadium and Exposition District. Okay, and that is the Superdome Commission. Mm -hmm. um, and they are saying that Gail Benson and the New Orleans Saints are 11.4 million dollars in payments behind right now, and that the commission has been uh, covering the payments here recently, but they obviously have a, or they're saying they have a finite amount of resources and they can't just continue to do that um, forever. They have not made a payment since December. Uh, the Saints have not. This is a key point here. Um, so Elsed is saying the Saints haven't paid. Uh, and because of that, they are, kind of dangling, you know, renovations will or will not they be done by the time Super Bowls roll, rolls around. They've also completely halted, apparently, um, some Smoothie King Center work that was supposed to be yeah, built into all of this it all as back, well. Yeah. Um, uh, another important thing to note, lease, long-term lease negotiations are going on right now between the New Orleans Saints and LSET, right, to keep them here in the city for an extended amount of time. This is something that in the past has caused a lot of trouble, um, but they've always kind of managed to find a, an, an agreement. So whatever. Uh, El said saying the Saints are $11.4 million in payments, haven't made a payment since December. The Saints say they are withholding payment because of El said's failure to provide documentation, saying they've asked multiple times and have not seen it yet. El said is saying you got to be more specific. What sort of documentation are you talking about? Saying, quote, it would be helpful to the process if the Saints were more specific and identified what documentation they are referencing. Uh, and, again, here's where we get into some quintessential Louisiana. Of course, uh, this ties in to the public as well as that LSED board, uh, Jeff Landry, in January um, appoints, he replaces six of the seven board members. So remakes the board in his own image, um, I don't know what the connective tissue is there yet. I think we'll know as this story develops, but I do find it pretty interesting that the last payment was made in December, basically the entire board replaced in January, and now you have a very public spat going on where we don't exactly know what's at the root of it. I mean, it's not like the Saints and Gail Benson don't have the money. They absolutely do. They have the cash flow, um, and, and many people were originally... Uh, and, and still are coming out to say, I mean, I, I think it is an awful look for the Saints and Gail. I think these headlines are awful. I think that's why Elsa had put it out there, kind of knowing that this could put some uh, pressure on the scale. But I wonder what the Saints' real problems here are. Like, what is the documentation? Is it about the board members being replaced? Who knows? But again, it all just reeks of politics, mismanagement, lack of leadership, and I'm sure as we'll see, Potential corruption. <laughs> so really, uh, just as Louisiana of a story as it gets. So the the entire project, $530 million, if I'm not mistaken. And most of the major work, as this article says, most of it has been completed with less than $60 million in work remaining. Yeah. The Saints have committed about $200 million towards the Superdome renovations. And so that... That honestly, like, it might not seem like a big, big, uh, big issue to most, but like to me, like when you get to the finish line, what happened? Like when you have that amount compared to what the total amount was, like what happened here at the finish line for this to be an issue? And if we're talking well, five hundred and thirty <laughs> million dollars, and now we're arguing over eleven million dollars again, I don't know this for sure. Okay, so tell me I'm an idiot, and I won't argue with you. Tell me I'm wrong, and I won't argue with you. 
Uh, you tell Taylor that every day. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and he had an argument with me because he knows that I'm his boss. Uh, not really. I'm not really Taylor's boss. Uh, but again, I mean, your point kind of proved like, well, it, 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 it reinforces my hypothesis, Jake, which is, yes, you've already committed that much money. Why suddenly are we squabbling over $11 million? What just happened in January? Why were the last payments made in December? Yeah. It would speak to maybe two parties that are not happy maybe with how that board changeover went come uh, January as Jeff Landry continues to remake the, sh- the state in his own image and has done what what so far? Um, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe hopefully something, something good coming eventually. Um, Mac Lindsay says maybe they don't have the money. Mickey did say that stuff about tickets. Uh, again, they they have the money. Like even if you want to tell me, oh, two people don't have the cash flow, which I don't believe. Uh, they could get approved for a loan, guys. Yeah. Uh, the 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 Pelicans are worth multiple billions of dollars. The Saints are worth multiple billions of dollars. Like. The Bensons buying the Pelicans was the greatest investment that anybody's ever made. The Pelicans haven't even ever been consistently good, and yet they've watched that thing like forex. Yeah. Uh, what would they buy for like three hundred seventy million, I believe, and now yeah. it's over two billion. Like, yeah. yeah, they can get a loan, guys. So um, they do have the cash flow. There is the parties are obviously upset with each other. Elsa's yeah. going public to apply pressure. The Saints are. Uh, 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 citing some vague lack of documentation without providing any details. There is some distaste simmering under the surface here, in my opinion. They need to hurry up, though. Because yeah, it's supposed to be done before the season starts. Well, yeah, for so sure. less than eight months. But uh, let's not mess the Super Bowl up again. Remember in 2012, <laughs> the power went out, okay? Like, let's not have that happen. I like when the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. It makes it very easy for me, okay? Let's make sure we don't screw this up so we can continue to get great things like the Super Bowl. I'd love to get the NFL draft, right? By the way, Green Bay this year, they announced Pittsburgh the next year, so. Have they ever, has there ever been a state that has cut off its nose to spite its own face more than uh, Louisiana? Like, we're, we're, we're basically, uh, from a governmental standpoint, we're like those infomercials when it's in black and white and the guy just can't figure out how everyday life works. He's like trying to pour water in a pot and it spills everywhere and he breaks the window and glass shatters everywhere. We're just bumbling, stumbling idiots uh, governmentally. So um, I don't know. Here's to hoping that they can figure this out. You know, that the Saints will pay their bills or get this done or we'll just become a laughing stock, which, uh, you know, I guess at a certain point, you just kind of, you are who you are. And uh, maybe that's just us at this point. I don't know. Wow. Just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.